Coming up today, Pitt fans are hoping their Panthers can end a two-game slide. Both losses came on the road. True freshman Dewan Blair will be the inside force for Pitt. For Louisville, 50-year senior David Padgett has been a key to six straight wins. Big East basketball, the Cardinals, Panthers next. We've got Sunday brunch basketball from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, the Peterson Event Center, 23rd ranked Louisville, and the Panthers out of the rankings for the first time in 43 polls. Take a look at the standings as we head down the stretch of conference play. Louisville will win today, a chance to tie Georgetown for the lead at the top. Those were the two teams who were expected in the preseason to finish that way, and the Panthers still have some work to do. Happy to have all of you with us today. I'm John Sanders, along with Eric Murdoch, and I think, Eric, something's got to give here because the Panthers have only lost one game at home this year, and Louisville has only lost two games on the road. Well, Louisville is very good on the road, very versatile, a team that has no weaknesses, can go inside, can go outside. And uh, if you look at Pittsburgh Panther team, this is a team that just simply does not lose in this building. So something got to give tonight. Check out our star watch, and we're going to look at the big guys inside, starting with David Padgett and then Dewan Blair. And what can you say about David Padgett? I mean, averaging about 10 points a game, four rebounds, shooting a career best 61% from the field, but uh, those numbers do not do him any justice. He's the flat-out leader of this basketball team. He's the facilitator on offense. He's a guy that understands where everybody is on the floor, but what I love about him is that he knows that the team is looking at him to be very successful. Well, he has been very successful, obviously, since returning from the early season injury. Of course, the Panthers have their own injuries, and we expect to see a lot of Levance Fields this afternoon. But let's talk about a true freshman who'll be matched up against the 50-year senior. Well, Dewan Blair, what can you say about this guy? Just a beast inside. Can a he's able to do it inside, outside. What I love about him is he leads this league, this team, in steals. He's a guy that's very active defensively inside. He knows exactly what he, what he wants. Getting the ball, he's going to carve out some space, but just an unbelievable talent for this Panther team. As you saw, he leads this team in steals as one of the best in the league. They're certainly a guy they'll be looking to inside, and we'll see if LeVance Fields is back in that starting lineup this afternoon. That could have an effect as well. We've got Big East basketball from Pittsburgh. Our ESPN Plus Game of the Week is next. Today's ESPN Plus game from Pittsburgh is brought to you by Oppenheimer Funds, the right way to invest. Advance Auto Parts, keep the wheels turning. Pontiac, official performance machines of the NCAA. Select Sector Spiders. Start weaving a stronger portfolio today. Visit us on the web at sectorspdrs.com or call 1-800-THE-AMEX. And by Midas. For brakes, oil changes, tires, and more, trust the Midas Touch. A lot of excitement here at the Peterson Event Center. Usually sold out. We're going to be close to capacity this afternoon, a little over 12,500. And, of course, that's the Oakland Zoo right behind our broadcast position. And they will make a lot of noise today. Let's take a look now at our Pizza Hut starting lineup for this Big East matchup heading into the month of March. It's McGee, Smith, Williams, Clark, and Padgett. And, yes, Levance Fields is in the lineup. And Gilbert Brown, who has been starting, goes to the bench. Benjamin is out there. He'll be now be the number three spot. Then Ramon, the shooting guard, and Young and Blair rounding out the top five. Let's take a look at the principal financial group edge to the game. In the edge of the game to me is shot selection if you're Louisville. If Coach Patino has a pet peeve, it's taking bad shots. They got to move the ball, move their bodies, get the best, highest percentage shot. Also, that swarming defense, they're going to change it up on Pittsburgh a lot. Let's see how these guards from Pittsburgh handle that pressure. And the officials for today's game, Mike Kitts, Carl Hess, and Ed Corbett. We are underway, controlling the basketball. The Cardinals of Louisville really on a roll. They've won 12 of their last 14. They won in this building a year ago. Over the top they go. The back door and the basket is good. Rick Pitino knows about success. He has had plenty of it. In his sixth season, Keith Benjamin will pick up the first foul of the afternoon and a chance for an early three-point play for Terrence Williams. He's from Seattle, and he misses the free throw. Blair has his first rebound. And Jamie Dexon, what can you say about him in five years? All he's done is take his team to the NCAAs every single season since he took over for Ben Howland. So he has been outstanding. 
And here's that pressure defense by Louisville. Forces LeVanceville into a tough shot, but he's a big shot maker. Good start for LeVance. Even though his percentage is not that good. Here's the Blatt matchup to watch as Padgett spins on Blair, puts up the hook, and scores. What can you say about Padgett? Just inside, very patient inside. Does not get ahead of himself. Locates the defense, knowing that he was one-on-one. -on -one, took it right at Dewan Blair. And here comes some of that pressure. Ramon handles it, gets it on the wing. Benjamin will shoot a three on the way. A little short. Follow won't go. Loose ball tracked down by McGee. And that's what you're going to see from Louisville. Five guys on the boards at all times. Three-pointer from the corner is short. And the rebound in and out of the hands of DeWan Blair. Could not hang on to it. There's Jamie Dixon. Oh, what an outstanding record. Rarely loses in this building. As a matter of fact, since this building opened, they've only lost nine games altogether in the six years. And he has the formula for winning. That's playing tough defense and rebounding. But different from Louisville because it's not a pressure defense. And here you see Padgett outside where he'll hand it off. That is a strong half-court defense. Not going to allow a lot of penetration. Not going to allow this team to break down the defense. But when Blair that time moved to a different Offensive player, Padgett was wide open inside for the basket and an early four-point lead. Here's Fields. Gets it ahead to Young. Young will turn, shoot a three. Got it. And I like Sam Young. Versatile player. Can move to the outside. Has that ability to knock that shot down, but just been very consistent all year for the Panthers. McGee on the outside will hand it off to his fellow guard. That's Jerry Smith. Little is... Gotten off to a good start. They are now four out of five, and they've gotten some good close looks, too. And all of those shots were assisted, you know, where the pass led to the basket. And these guys are very efficient offensively. They're not going to take bad shots. So if you're Pittsburgh, you've got to do a better job of keeping these guys out on the perimeter. Three-point edge right now for the Cardinals. Here's that 2-3 zone. When it goes to certain areas, the, the principles change. If it goes into that middle, it becomes a man-to-man. -man. They like to force the ball to the baseline. Well, that's field. Starts a move. Gets it back to Ronald Ramon. His three is a little short. Tipped up and into the hands of Smith. Back come the Cardinals. All red this afternoon for their road uniforms. Turnaround shot is good, and they are smoking to start this game. And Aaron Clark is a very athletic player, very versatile, very much improved. You can tell that he's been working on his game very much in that gym because right now he can do it all. And we've got a foul. Oh, Pitt called a timeout. It's a 30-second timeout. So the Panthers were about to lose the basketball right there, Eric, and instead they take a timeout. Four of their five starters have scored already. Look here, Padgett is very smart with the ball. A little curl back to the basket. Nice pass on time and on target. But this team moves the ball very, very well. They get in the lanes. They understand where everybody's at on the floor. And Coach Patino's done a wonderful job of having these guys buy into his system where they're going to play great defense. Offensively, he's going to let you be free as far as taking shots, but he don't want those contested jump shots way out on the perimeter. Now that defense has been so stingy 15 times this year. The opposition has scored 60 points or less. That's how tough the Cardinals are on defense. Amazing. With that length, Earl Clark and Padgett and when character comes into the game. I mean, these guys are long. They get a lot of deflections on balls and that intensity they bring every night is unmatched by a lot of teams. Three minutes gone here in the opening half of play. Fields to Benjamin. Now it's two on one. Young goes to the basket, rolls it up, no good. Blair there for the follow. No, it's Young with the follow. And Young stays with his own shot, scores two. And I like Pittsburgh breaking the press to score. And there's another easy look for Earl Clark with the jam. Another assist by the Louisville Cardinals. Pittsburgh really has to do a better job of trying to maybe deny the wings because they're getting that high pick screen every time. Fields feeds Blair. He went up and under and missed the shot. So now the Cardinals come back. Louisville is 6 of 7 shooting to start this game. They are on fire. And if Pittsburgh want to win this game, they got to do a much better job of keeping these guys out of the paint. Blair against Padgett. Got a piece of it. Now Padgett gives it up to Clark. Working on Young. Gets to the baseline. And now they reverse the basketball. McGee for three. Rims out. Rebound Ramon. 
Padgett went for the steal, couldn't get it. Fields draws the oh, oh, the basket. Wow. What a play by LeBanchfield. Wow. In the general, very strong. He's the type of guy that can finish those type of shots. You hear him with the near steal, but able to gather, gets the ball, throws it up, and has the frame of mind yeah. to knock the shot in. Just a terrific effort. McGee picks up his first foul. Now watch this by LeVance Field. Cardinals have a three-point lead over the Panthers. We're still in the first half, 15-50 to play. And our game this afternoon on ESPN Plus being brought to you by Principal Financial Group will give you an edge. Both these teams have struggled with injuries throughout the season and have lost a lot of games from some of their key players. Padgett was out for 10, Palacios for 9. Fields missed 12, he came back three games ago. Cook has missed 15 and he is done for the year. One of the differences in the injury situation, Eric, is that for Louisville, those injuries came early in the year, and for Pittsburgh, they came midway through the season. Exactly right. Unfortunate for Pittsburgh, but injuries is a part of this league, especially the Big East. A lot of grinding, a lot of grueling. You're going to have injuries, but somehow, some way, you've got to overcome those injuries. I mean, since Padgett's been back, he, the team has gone 12-3 and three in his return, and he's just the glue to this basketball team. Loose basketball picked up by LeVance Fields. Now Young is on the perimeter. And, uh, Pittsburgh pretty much is a perimeter team. They really don't run their offense automatically through Blair, although he has it at the foul line. And McGee is going to pick up a foul along the baseline. And, and you're right. They like a lot of ball movement, a lot of player movement. Motion offense is the main offense that they run. But the Blair, Dewan Blair does get his touches down low, and he's very productive. Sosa will check into the lineup for McGee, who has picked up his second foul in the first five minutes. Ramon missed his only three-point attempt so far. Here's Blair up with a power move, misses the shot, and the rebound to Earl Clark. And you saw Earl Clark almost blocking that shot. That's what he brings to the table. DeJuan Blair is a big body inside, but he's the type of player that can get your shot at the top. Very athletic. Here comes Williams against Benjamin. Inside Padgett, takes a bump from Blair. Padgett powers his way inside, lost the ball, turned it over. And it's that help side defense by Pittsburgh. DeJuan Blair doing a great job initially keeping Padgett outside, but that help defense came in for the steal. Fields weaves his way in front. And off the runner, the jumper is no good by Benjamin. Back the other way, now comes Jerry Smith. Stole by Fields. Second straight turnover. Fields to Ramon, up and under and in. Advanced Fields, what do you say? The Brooklyn native can do it all, but anticipation on the steal and then the handle with the no-look pass to Ramon. Just an unbelievable individual effort by Levance Fields. And obviously that broken foot does not bother him at all. He went through a full practice yesterday. They wanted to wait and see how he reacted from that. He did play 25 minutes in their loss at Notre Dame, and that's a first-step travel. Three consecutive turnovers now by Louisville. And I expected Levance Fields to come out and have a very good game today because for the simple fact he got a couple games under his belt along with a couple practices. Now Palacios has checked into the lineup along with Knowles and for the Panthers Biggs has checked in for the first time and a young freshman who had been starting is in the lineup as well. That'll be Gilbert Brown. And guys like Biggs and Brown has really stepped their games up in the absence of fields. They haven't had a, a level of drop you know, when those guys are in the basketball game. Young buries his second three-pointer. He has eight early on, and the Panthers have their first lead of the afternoon. And I love Sam Young. I love what he brings to the table. He's an intense competitor, but now you have to guard him on that three-point line. If you do not guard him, he will knock those shots down all day. I mean, just doesn't go outside the offense, always is in tune with what's going on with this team, but comes off the screen and squares his body to the basket and knocks it down with a nice arc. The only problem with that is I thought he traveled before he quickly <laughs> shot. But LeVance Fields is back. And in action. Sam Young off to the good start. He's hit both of his three-point attempts, has both of the Panthers' three-point shots. But again, the key to this offense is number two. It is. He's the initiator out there. He's the instigator. He's the guy. When he's playing well, usually the Pittsburgh Panthers team play very well. The guy that can make unbelievable shots in here, the skill, the handle, and then the no-look dime over to his buddy Ramon. I love the fact that he knows how to run a basketball team. He can do that. 14 to 12 Panthers have their first lead. Took them six minutes to get on top. A 
7-0 Pittsburgh run. They had been trailing by five early on. Palacios wearing the goggles. He suffered an eye injury. The problem with Palacios is he's been hurt almost the entire time he's been at Louisville. He has, and Coach Patino said that he doesn't even practice 50% of the time out there when the team is practicing. So he, he has to stay in shape, game shape by playing games. Here comes Williams with it, hands it back to Preston Knowles, a freshman. Shot clock is inside 10. And that's turnover number four for the Cardinals in a row. And that's great defense by Pittsburgh to where they don't have to double-team David Padgett. If those big guys can keep him at bay, they don't have to take risk and chances by double-teaming him. Well, the Cardinals got off to a great start, 7 of 8, to start shooting the basketball, but they have cooled off. And we've seen Pittsburgh do that, do that to a lot of teams, not just in the Big East, but in the country. And that's the first time they have not taken advantage by getting a basket off a turnover. Palacios on the run out is blocked by Young. And there's Sam Young showing that athleticism, going to get it at the top of the glass. And Palacios wears those glasses, Eric, but he also wears a huge brace on the knee that was injured early in the season. Young back to Biggs off the glass and good. We've seen it all from Sam Young. The three-point ability. The drive to the basket, now the assist. Just understand how to play the game of basketball. A lot of times you can't teach what he brings to the table. This is Edgar Sosa. And Knowles, no place to go as he can't get around Young. They're double teaming inside, too, against Palacios. Over the top they go. It's offensive. It's offensive. It's offensive. And the foul is called on Ronald Ramon. It'll be Ronald's first. He was inside trying to get the double team. Padgett sits down now. But they don't get much smaller as they go to character. He is 6'8". He's a wide body, 265. Knowles will sit down now as Smith checks back in. And what character is going to bring is that intensity. He's going to come in and, and really try to beat you up. And be a very physical player, but very skilled player as well. Wanamaker, a freshman for Pittsburgh, has checked in. A runner off the glass and good, and that ends the drought. Williams gets his second field goal of the afternoon. Cuts the lead back to two. And I love Terrence Williams' game. To me, one of the most underrated players in the Big East. And a bad pass by Benjamin. Stolen by Louisville. Cardinals come back. Skip to Williams. They're almost out of bounds. He is out of bounds. Mm. It was just a bad pass across court. It was. But, you know, you see Louisville off of those turnovers. They're going to try to attack the basket. And the Cardinals went four and a half minutes without a basket after taking the early lead. And they have turned it over five times already. And, and Pittsburgh is not a team that's going to extend that defense and go for steals. A lot of times they play very good defensive position, which allows the offensive team to make the mistakes. And right now, you've got both the point guards on the bench, and Ramon and Fields, neither one is out there. So Benjamin running the show. Here's the freshman Wanamaker. This is Benjamin for three. Mm -hmm. Air ball. On the weak side, it's Williams who will push it to Sosa. Sosa pulls up for three. Got it. A nice, it's a two. Check it. It's a two. And a nice pull up by Sosa to me was one of the best freshmen last year. Little, regressed a little bit because of the pressure, but still very capable. The steal, the basket, and the foul. Well, the Panthers not handling the pressure very well at all. And the foul goes on Benjamin. That'll take us to a timeout. Cardinals on a 6-0 run here in Pittsburgh. They have retaken the lead 18 to 16. But the leading scorer for both teams so far is a fellow by the name of Sam Young, who wears number 23. Mr. Versatility is Sam Young. He is a guy that can do it all. Defensively, he can block shots, very athletic, loves to get out on the wing. But here, nice pump fake, draws the defense, dish over to his buddy Biggs, but driving the basket, very relentless on the boards. He's going to go after every loose ball, every rebound, and just the heart and soul of this pit Panther team. Levant Fields has checked back into the lineup. There you see the numbers for Young. A little tape jot over his right eyebrow. Man, looks like he's been in the fight. <laughs> That's what happens in the Big East, isn't it? Man, we compared the Big East to playing a football game where you need about a week to recover from the last game, but you only get two days in the Big East. So you guys got to you know, get over their injuries very quickly in the Big East. Edgar Sosa, five points off the bench. Oh, got away that with almost. That looked like over and back, didn't it? Brown penetrates, lost it out of bounds, tried to save it, but cannot. And back into the lineup. Panthers have turned it over just twice so far, but Blair checks back in, and Sam Young will get a blow. Maybe he was in the air. 
see where he catches the ball. Yeah, that's yeah. backcourt. Yep. Didn't matter, they turned it over anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Williams working on Brown. Knocked away inside. Not a good look. Blair reaching those long arms out there to knock that one away. And the Cardinals going to work defensively. And what Louisville does defensively, you don't know if they're playing a zone or if they're playing man-to-man. -man. Right now, Juan Palacio is trying to guard Levance Fields on the perimeter. That's going to be short. And both of the Levance Fields shots have been short. Maybe some of the inactivity. Sosa penetrates, Ooh. scores, and back to the line he goes. Ooh. Very strong for Sosa off the bench. Coming the out. basket good, and the foul is on Wanamaker. Coming out very strong, just Edgar Sosa. Nice inside-out crossover, gets to the basket, has the ability to finish, but coming out very aggressively. I think he's a guy that, you know, is battling confidence. When he's confident, he does things like this, but when he's looking over his shoulder, that's when he tends not to play as well. Ramon will check back in. Wanamaker, who just made that last foul will go back to the bench. Edgar Sosa, sophomore from the Bronx at the line, looking for another three-point play. Won't get it. Blair has the rebound. And I bet that inside-out move that Edgar Sosa just made is a product of Coach Patino's individual instructions. Yeah, right now it's a 9-0 run for Louisville. Pass is deflected but saved by LeBant Steele. And if you're Pittsburgh, you just got to maintain. This has been a game of runs right now. Move the ball, move body, try to get a good high percentage shot. Fields thought about the three. Brown will shoot a three from the corner. That rims off. The tip up is no good. Smith tries to track it down, but cannot. It's pit basketball. Golf fans, club pros, not too early to start thinking about the 2008 ESPN National Golf Challenge. You can log on to ESPNGolf.com, sign up your course as a host, or find a local qualifying site in your area. Be a part of the search for America's best twosome. Five-point lead, matching the biggest of the half. Brown fights his way down the lane, missed the shot, gets his own rebound, puts it up, no good. And a nice play by Brown, attacking the seams of that defense. But even when you get into that defense, it's hard to get off a good shot. But relentless on the board, get an offensive rebound, you know, for the putback and drawing the foul. But this is what you have to do against this Louisville basketball team. Get into the seams of that defense and try to create opportunities, not just for yourself, but also for your teammates. Brown gets his first point. Redshirt freshman who was injured after playing in three games last year. They appealed, and he got his freshman year back. Young is back on the court for Pitt. Two at the line for Gilbert Brown. That cuts off the 9-0 run for the Cardinals. And the Panthers down by three. We're at the midway point of this opening half. I'm John Sanders along with Eric Murdoch. Great to have you with us. Williams inside over Brown comes up short. Blair the rebound. A very good individual effort by Brown keeping Terrence Williams outside and contesting that shot. And Ramon working on Sosa. Blair out to try to help out with the pick. Now Fields. And Ramon Blair hasn't had a lot of touches inside, and when he does, has been guarded pretty well. That's a nice shot along the baseline. It's the second basket for Blair. And that's what uh, character wants to He wants to be physical with you, but a good play by Dewan Blair stepping out to 10 feet, facing him up, and shooting a nice little mid-range jump shot. Well, the Cardinals already have their 20 wins on the year, six straight years. Panthers need one more victory to hit the 20 mark for the seventh time in a row. Character inside, and one for him. Mm -hmm. We've seen that over and over again. The basket is good. And the foul is on Ronald Ramon. That's just very good execution by the Louisville Cardinals. Pass to Terrence Williams up top to Earl Clark. And Earl Clark with a nice little touch pass over to his buddy from Jersey, Derek Hager, for the strong finish. I mean, these guys play very, very well offensively. They know exactly what they want on the offensive end. And third time in this opening half that they've had the old-fashioned three-point opportunity, and they have converted two of them. Back to a four-point lead. Character, who got the basket. And the free throw will go back to the bench. And I think the best thing for Derek Character was the return of David Padgett. He's a, he's a guy that can mentor Character of how to be a leader, how to be a team guy. And I think he's taking heed to that, to that teaching of David Padgett. And Knowles, the freshman, is back out there. Fields is fouled. That'll be the first on Jerry Smith, the sophomore from Wisconsin. We are here at the Peterson Event Center. Louisville ranked number 23. Panthers out of the rankings for the first time in 43 polls. Along with Eric Murdoch, I'm John Sanders. Fields 
Brown gets to the baseline, pulls up for a jumper, nails it. Nice little shot by Brown. Drive to the basket, a little step back. That's a pro move where you step back to create some space. Very nice looking mid range shot by Brown. Clark on the outside. Knowles. And then Pittsburgh going to a 2 3 zone. You don't see too much of this from the Panthers. Normally they're a steady man to man. That's a three on the way in. Good. He's swishing through for Smith, his first three pointer. And Smith is a very, very good shooter. Struggled early in the season, but has come on of late shooting, dropping 54% from the field as a guard. Brown on the run. Back to field. Ramon kicks it to the corner. Young. Already has two threes. Ramon looking for his first. That's off target. Fields with a follow. And good. Fields with the basket, but Sam Young active on the boards, tipping it out to his buddy. He's the guy that's going to do the little things to help this Panther team win. And right now in this first half, we've seen it all. Three-point game. Padgett back out there. Turns, looks, and throws it to Mike Kitts, the official. Seven turnovers already with 7.34 to play here in the first half. Welcome back. The Cardinals have the lead by three, 27-24. And let's take a look at a guy who's been outstanding off the bench so far, and that's Edgar Sosa. Edgar Sosa doing it all for Louisville. Went here with a nice pull-up jump shot, playing with a lot of confidence. Right here, nice little inside-out move, individual instruction. I'm sure Coach Patino has been harping on it, just been in the right place at the right time, and the strength to finish the shot. But you see him barking at the crowd. He's playing with a lot of confidence. I think before early in this year, he's uh, been wavering, you know, with his confidence. But right now, doing the things to help this Louisville Cardinal basketball team. Oh, the Panthers will bring it up. No pressure this time from the Cardinals. Team fouls about even. Panthers have five. Louisville has four. Just over seven and a half minutes. And you, Remaining. At, and you look at the, the length of these guys, Earl Clark and Patrick and Williams, you're not going to get a lot of open shots with these guys inside. Sam Young inside goes up from this foul. That'll be number one on Earl Clark. And what's at stake in this one? Well, as always, when you get close to March in the Big East, there's plenty at stake. They could tie for first. Could the Cardinals with a win here today. And the Panthers have had one three-game losing streak under Jamie Dixon, and they don't want number two today. It's amazing. Simply do not lose, especially in this building. Has the formula for success. When you come out, you play strong half-court defense, you rebound the ball, and you also can ab you're able to make three-point shots. You're going to be in a lot of basketball games. Well, their only loss at home this year was to Rutgers, which was a shocker. <laughs> Surprising, but it goes to show you that you cannot come out laxing days ago without a mental edge in any Big East basketball game. Padgett holds. Now feeds Williams. He misses. There's Padgett up with a follow and a block. Oh, oh goaltending. Looks like they're going to score, but what a big time rebound by David Padgett. Only guy that went up in the air, and I thought it was a pretty good block, but obviously it wasn't goaltending. Well, let's take another look from underneath the basket. What do you think? Ah, it looked like it was good to me. I did too. Blair against Padgett. Missed the shot. Tips it up and in. There we go, big fella. That's the big fella we know and love. Dewan Blair is going to go after every offensive rebound. Struggling a little bit inside against the length of these players, but is always going to be active on the boards. This is Sosa who's been very effective. Six and a half to play. We're in the first half on the campus of the University of Pittsburgh. That shot is short. Young with a rebound. Finds Fields. Benjamin ahead of the pack. That's goaltending. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Heads up play by LeVance Fields. Understanding, always keeping his hands up. If guys will run, he will get them the ball. And I think all of these Panther players know if they run, they're going to get layups. It's a 29-29 ball game. The Panthers have come right back. Nothing doing deep in the corner. And again, Pittsburgh is in that 2 3 zone. Very uncharacteristic of this Panther team. Sosa for three. Bending, bending off. Rebound by Clark. Out to Williams. He'll kick it to the corner. Sosa for three. Got that one. 
And that's what happens in a zone. You don't have man-to-man -man responsibility of blocking somebody out, so you can find holes to go to the offensive rebound. Great job by Earl Clark getting second opportunity for the, for the Cardinals. Yeah, it's been well distributed. 13 different players have scored here in the first 15 minutes of the opening half. And that's what you're going to get. You're not going to get one guy to score 30 points or 40 points. It's going to be distributed amongst the team. Young tried to feed it underneath. Blair trying to fight his way up and in. Nice play by DeJuan Blair, taking his time, getting the ball. He's going to stay active on the board, but carving out space, going up, gathering himself for the nice, strong finish. You see how the offense pivots around Padgett. He sets up Sosa. They kick it to Williams, now deep in the corner. Now Padgett against Blair. That's a three on the way, and good wow. again. Wow. What a half for Edgar Sosa. He's already got 13 points, and his season high is 18. Unbelievable. Just coming out, playing with a lot of aggression and a lot of confidence. It's amazing what happens when you play and not have to look over your shoulders. That's well, been kind of the story for Benjamin of Pitt, because it used to be he did his minutes were limited, and now it's a little different story. Brown gets inside, bending off. Rebound is good by Young. He'll go to double figures with 11. The basket counts, and the foul is on Sosa. It'll be his first. And that's all Pittsburgh attacking the glass. Initially, they're not making that initial shot, but they're getting themselves second and third opportunities on the glass. And to compete with this Louisville team, this is what you have to do. Try to create second opportunities and, and make the shot. Sam Young with 11 at the line. It's a two-point lead for the Cardinals over the Panthers. This has been a well-played first half by both teams. It has, and, you know, to me, Sam Young <laughs> does all the little things for this pit team, as well as Padgett for Louisville. They have guys that are glue-type players that hold the team together, and I love the fact that these guys are on the same page. And Sosa and hot. Now, Louisville <laughs> as a team is hot. They're shooting 68% here in the first half. And getting all good shots within the offense, not taking contested shots, and, you know, Patino. Padgett over Biggs. Scores his eighth point. So he's played in a couple of pretty good basketball programs, hasn't he? I mean, what can he not do? I mean, he does everything well. Foul line. Off the mark. Saved by Brown. Fields. Game. How to make those open J's. Steal by Fields. He's got Sosa to beat. And he scores. Okay. Levan Field does it all defensively. He's the motivator. When he feels he is the Panthers. Williams, Padgett, he challenges, then misses the shot. Mm. He was going to take it right at Biggs that time, but Fields will stop and pop a three. He hits the deck. Panthers get it back, a fresh clock, 2.30 to go. And the bench to me, looks very healthy out there on the floor. He looks very comfortable with the to play with a high intensity, and he's bringing it tonight, today, for the Panthers. Panthers working. Fields. Will shoot from the top of the circle. The loose ball tracked down by Fields. Brown for three. And Louisville will take its timeout. Half. Uh, I think that injured foot of Levance Fields is pretty good, don't you? It is. I mean, just anticipation, getting out in those lanes, running the break. Nice guy that's just a true leader to me. He knows how to run a basketball team. And it's not just points. It's not just assists. It's leadership. It's a guy that you know, feels when that team is not playing well, he teams on him. You know, he has all the respect of his players, and he's the vocal guy in that locker room. Stop. <laughs> He has a great attitude. We've had three ties, two lead changes so far this afternoon. And again, this is a game of runs. You got to maintain. Louisville's going to go on their run. They may get a couple steals on the break. Game contained because you will get back in this basketball game. Palacios for Edgar Sosa has been the star of this first half for the Cardinals. Less than two to play. He's been unbelievable. Just scoring in a variety of ways. A lot of trans. Get to that glass. Now he drives, misses the shot. Ball tipped out of bounds. Touch last by DeWan Blair. 44 lay, two point lead, Cardinals. What your engine feels, you feel. And when it's running clean, you feel it. That's why Pennzoil Motor Oil is specially formulated with active cleansing agents to continuously help prevent dirt and deposits from forming. 
No lead. So change with Penn's oil. The fields are clean. Not just oil. Penn's oil. With a nimble 50-inch width, it's the most ad trail capable side-by-side -side in the world. Introducing the new Ranger Razor. The weight is over. Razor Sharp side-by-side -side performance. See it up close to your local Polaris Ranger dealer. With vehicles like the Ford Edge, the new restyled Focus and Escape, the award-winning Fusion, the number one selling F-150, and the big Ford Super Duty. And now get $500 Auto Show bonus cash on top of all existing offers. That's up to $4,500 cash back. It all ends February 29th. Each team has had a 9-0 run here in the opening half, and right now it's the Cardinals leading by two. Let's, we talked about looking inside at the start of the game, and let's do that right now with Blair. And Blair, to me, what's impressive about him is his recognition. Knowing that character is a physical play, it takes him out to 15 feet. Pads is going to play good post position defense, takes it to his body. And right here, this is the heart and soul of this basketball team. This relentless on the board. You know he's going to bring this type of activity to this basketball team. But just an unbelievable play, and to me, one of the top Big East. Nobody can argue with that. There are some good first-year players in this league, too. you got Green and Flynn up in Syracuse doing an unbelievable job, but Blair is right there with the best of them. Palacios pulls down the rebound. Knowles will shoot and hit a three. Preston Knowles, 9 of 27 shooting threes this year. Mm -hmm. Within the offense, wide open Knowles. All of these guards for Louisville has that ability to step out to the three-point line. Well, once again, the Cardinals will match their biggest lead of the opening half. They're up by five at 40 to 35. Fields off the young screen. Goes back to Brown. Now Young took a hard hit from Knowles. And a reach-in foul called on Knowles right there. A reminder, stay with us for our ESPN Plus halftime report. We'll have the Big East Wire. Check out the Oppenheimer Coaches Spotlight. And, of course, as always, we'll have the first half highlights and stats from a very well-played first half. Cardinals did get in a little rut there when they turned the ball over four straight times. But for the most part, both teams have taken care of the basketball. Very efficient offensively, not taking bad shots. Everybody is on the same page. Uh, both teams defensively knows exactly what they want to do as far as rotations, helping. And both teams are finishing that defensive possession off with the rebound. Brown, who made 14 starts in a row, did not start today as Fields returned to the lineup, and they put him on the bench. I thought him, uh, Benjamin, I thought Ronald Ramon did a great job in the absence of LeVance Fields and uh, stepping up their games to where they did not have a drop of play. That's Sosa with it, down in the corner. Palacios gets it back outside. Shot clock winding down to 10. Here's Knowles at the foul line, puts up the jumper, coming up short. Kept alive, though, nicely that time by Palacio. And that's what Palacio brings. He's going to bring a lot of activity. When that ball goes up, he thinks it's a pass to him, so he's going to go and attack the glass. Shot clock and game clock almost dead even. In a very physical game. Uh, you look at Sam Young with the Band-Aid over his eye. Look at Sosa. He has blood on the back of his shirt. So very it might be physical. Sam Young. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly right. Very physical game in the Big East this afternoon. And at 10 seconds, they go to work. Blair got a piece of that one, knocked it out of bounds. So 7.1 remaining. If you're a guard, you got to be careful with that basketball around Dewan Blair because he has that wingspan of about seven foot three, and he gets his hands on a lot of basketballs. Will Scott, a transfer from Cornell out of New York City, has checked in, and Cardinals weren't sure who was supposed to go out, and Character does go to the bench. You can't play with six players. It would be an advantage, wouldn't it? <laughs> to play with six. And this team doesn't need one. 
Now, sometimes when they're pressing, it seems like they have six. Wow. How about the first half for Sosa? Unbelievable. All around game just came out with an aggression about himself, but this unbelievable individual effort by Sosa. Sosa has been terrific in this opening half. He leads all scores with 15 points. He's also helped his team to their biggest lead of the afternoon. Sosa, whether it's three or short, he's done the job. Our ESPN Plus Halftime Report is straight ahead. Stay with us. We'll be back. Cardinals have a six-point halftime lead as we return to Pittsburgh for our ESPN Plus halftime report. Glad to have you with us on this Sunday afternoon. I'm John Sanders with Eric Murdoch, and let's take a look now at our PNC first half highlights, and it was a hot first half for a fellow by the name of Sosa. And Sosa, what can you say about him? Just coming out, being very aggressive, scoring in a variety of ways right here, coming down, pull-up jump shot from about 19 feet, knocks it down, spotting up in the corner, letting it fly, shooting it with... Very much confidence, but he's a guy that's coming in and he's playing, you know, very well for this Louisville Cardinal team, and, and it shows in his play. Now he came off the bench, but Sam Young, one of the Panthers starters, got them rolling about midway through the first half. To me, Sam Young is a, the unsung hero of this Panther team, able to do it in a variety of ways as well, shooting the ball from three point, driving to the basket. But where I love his game is the relentless attack of the board. And Dewan Blair. Matching the freshman against inside against the fifth-year senior, and that's something you don't see him do a lot. That little outside 15-footer. And to me, the rookie of the year in the Big East can score in a variety of ways. He's a guy that does it all for this Panther team. We'll see what he can do in the second half. We'll be back with more ESPN Plus basketball after this. Here we go with the second 20 minutes of Big East Conference basketball. If the Cardinals make this lead stand up and win, they'll do something no other team has ever done, and that's win two games in the Peterson Event Center. Very rare occasion, and Louisville has the team to do it. Very versatile. No real weaknesses that I can see. Maybe, you know, shooting from the perimeter, but other than that, man, does a lot of things well for this basketball team. Same starting five for the Panthers in the second half. Young, Blair, Ramon, Fields, and Benjamin. That's Fields for three. Too strong. No, as E, as Sosa is starting the second half. A run out by Padgett and a travel. Statistically, the first half went like this. Building that six-point lead on some great field goal shooting. No problem today with that 62%. Not at all. Getting the ball inside. Everything is running through David Padgett. He knows exactly where to get that ball, and players are ready to shoot the ball when it presents himself. And, of course, that bench scoring led by Sosa's 15, and that's why he's starting the second half. And to me, on the other side, Pittsburgh didn't shoot it well from three-point line. But Out of bounds. And it's going to stay at this end. Shot clock at 14. We're in the first minute of the second half, and neither team has been able to score so far. You see Padgett barking instruction. He's the linebacker of this basketball team. Ramon passed on that three. Finds Sosa. And every shot is contested by this Louisville Cardinals team. A lot of players with a lot of length, so you got to get that shot up very quick. Here's Padgett against Blair. Ooh, jump hook goes. He's in double figures now with 10. Padgett had no fouls, neither did Blair in the first half, which was good news for both Crosby. This is a very physical game, but Padgett, in that instance, if you're Pittsburgh, you've got to come and bring somebody for Dewan Blair. You give a big guy like Padgett's capabilities that many dribbles, he's going to score on you all day. 36. Turnaround. Young, good. 13 for the junior from Clinton, Maryland. And that three-pointer is bending short. Padgett tips it out, and Williams has it. Tried to go inside, so Williams. Williams had four in the first half, and Clark had only one basket. Very quiet, but they get their offense within the framework of the offense. A lot of guys don't go one-on-one -on -one or go outside of the offense. If they're going to score points, it's going to be within 
<laughs> lost it, didn't get it back. So the Panthers will have it at the offensive end, trying to slice into this lead. Young with another turnaround, rattles out. Rebound, put back by Blair. Nice play by Dewan Blair, just being active, not standing around watching when that shot goes up. He has a nose for the basketball. When it goes off that glass, he thinks it's a pass to him. 44-40 now, Williams against Ramon. Has the height advantage, Smith will shoot a three and buries it. Shoots very well from the perimeter. He's a confident guy and you can't get unattached to him on the perimeter because he's going to knock those open shots down all day. Second three-pointer today for Smith. Benjamin to Ramon. Short jumper bending off. Either Yo or Blair. Got to be Blair. I think it was Blair. Blair's very active. And those arms, Patrick is 6'11". Blair may be 6'8", 6'9", but those long arms get his hands on a lot of balls. 47-42. Paget at the top of the circle brings Blair out and <laughs> big fella showing the hops. <laughs> Blair with the last two pit baskets cuts the lead to three. Panthers have cut the halftime lead in half. They're down by three now. And the big man coming alive, the freshman Dewan Blair, who grew up right in this area. Yeah, you call him a freshman right now. You play three quarters of a season in the Big East. You're no longer three, but very active. On the, on the boards, but Sam Young coming with the stiff and the young fella, he wanted to show his hops. Oh. <laughs> nice jam, but very active. You got to love his compassion and how he plays with so much heart on the basketball floor. He stole a foul. Foul will be on Earl Clark, his second. Let's take a look at our Star Watch update. We talked about the big guys inside, and they have not disappointed. They have both had spurts where they played well. Now, you're exactly right, John. And Phil, 10 points, 4 rebounds. Dewan Blair, 12 points, 6 of 10, 7 rebounds. Both guys understand how important this basketball game is in playing with a lot of heart and desire. Young on a drive. Dumps it off to Blair. He's fouled. That foul will go on. Standing up to just nice little handoff to Blair. But it's a very smart play as this Sam Young understands that he is a facilitator out there first, but also has that ability to score the basketball. This is the shot. Golf fans, club pros. It's not too early. To start thinking about the 2008 ESPN National Golf Challenge. Log on. Sign up your course as a host or to find a local qualifying site in your area. Be a part of the search for America's Best Twosome. And Blair makes one out of two. Give him 13. Cut the lead to two. Almost four minutes gone in the second half. The Oakland Zoo trying to get their offense going and get their team going. And Pittsburgh doing a much better job off of that slice cut, not allowing those layups that they allowed early. Old-fashioned three-point opportunities on those drives inside. Padgett tries to power, and that's going to be a foul on Blair. He got the ball first, I thought, and then got the arm after he almost made the steal. It'll take us to a timeout. It is the first foul on DeJuan Blair. 47-45, the battle inside between the big men. We have not been disappointed so far, Eric. It's been pretty good. Not at all. You're looming into this battle. You look at DeJuan Blair, not giving up any position. Got that hand on him. Little foul. I think right there you have to play on, but both guys really trying to take it to one another. And it's not... Uh, these teams are very good, and also uh, along in the Big East is that you got big men who dominate the game. Luke Harangoti and Notre Dame, David Patchett here in Louisville, Roy Hibbert down in Georgetown. You got Khabib up in UConn. There's no reason why, or no explanation why these guys are very good in the Big East. This is Smith. Now Clark against Blair, who got a piece of it. He gets it back. Louisville maintains possession inside Padgett against Young, turns, takes it inside to the left hand and lays it home. There they go again. David Padgett, very adept at using both hands around the basket, fakes left, and uses that left hand over to Ron Blair. Ramon handles the pressure, gets it in the forecourt. It was with it. Well, Vance Field is back on the court right now as well. So you've got two point guards. This is Fields. That was kicked. Now there's still 16 seconds left on the shot clock. And Pittsburgh has done a very good job against this pressure from the Cardinals. Remember that clock does not reset unless it's inside 15, and then it goes back to 15. Young for three. Too strong. Fields tried to tip it up, could not. Ball comes loose. Padgett tracks it down. And Fields had a chance of trying to corral that rebound. 
and went up for the tip, but wasn't able to come down with it. But a very good rebounding guard from that position. Panthers shooting in the mid 40s, and the Cardinals still shooting in the low 60s. Loose ball tipped out to McGee. This, is, this game is not for the faint of heart. No, no, Very not. physical inside. I think that's going to go on to Juan Blair. The second the second half. And he's not happy with Mike Kipps, who's not real happy with him either. Yeah, the senior Ramon had to take Blair away from their Fisher, but uh, you got to let these guys play. You cannot start to call a little ticky-tack fouls. It's been a very physical game pretty much for the whole afternoon. But it's the kind of thing they didn't call in the first half, as you said. you got to maintain consistency in your calls. Yeah, and players get a feel for how the game is going to be called. It's been a physical game, so DeJuan Blair didn't expect for that play to be called. The jump no good. Young corralled the rebound. So they're going to Padgett a lot inside. He hasn't had a lot of success lately. It's a four-point lead. Louisville has led most of the way. And we've got a foul inside. Let's take a look at our select sector stats. You see the shooting percentage for Louisville is very good. It's brought to you by Select Sector Spiders. Third foul on Clark. First player on either team with three fouls. Ramo. Brown is back on the court again. Six minutes gone in the second half. 49 to 45, a Louisville. In the man fence. Young for three. Got it. That's his third. Gets him 16 on the afternoon. Makes it a one point game. And that's a simple pick and pop for Sam Young. LeVance Field does a great job making good decisions. Faded to the corner. Nice, nice shot. Now the fans starting to get into it again here in the Peterson Event Center on the campus of the University of Pittsburgh. Young got a piece of that one, but he winds up and retake the lead. Great defensive possession by Pittsburgh, not allowing any penetration and putting a hand up when that shot goes up to the basket. Fields go, and rebound is loose. Biggs dives for it, and the Cardinals come out of there with it. On the run, it's McGee. And a good inside move that time by Williams. Gives him six points, his first basket in the second half. And Williams is so calm out there, not overextending himself but getting all his points within the offense. Williams jumps out on Young that time will not let him shoot the bending. Oh. Tipped up. No good. Scramble for the rebound. Smith has it for Louisville. For Louisville, this is what you have to do. Guards got to come back, get those loose rebounds, doing a great job of getting those rebounds. Smith as well as McGee. And his sec foul. his first foul. Well, I just think Carrollton was a little out of control down in the post. He's playing very good defense, not leaving his feet. He traveled, first yeah, of all. I was going to say, if he didn't they... travel, I don't know what it is. <laughs> got away with the trap, but I think uh, Pittsburgh got the short end of the stick on that deal. And as Rasheed Wallace would say, the ball don't lie. He missed the free throw. <laughs> Well, Young and Fields go back to the bench. Boy. Crucial time for Pittsburgh handling that pressure with advanced Fields going to the bench. One out of two for character. He has four points so far this afternoon. It is a four-point lead. Cardinals are up by six at halftime. There's some of that famous Cardinals pressure. Free on the got it. Very nice. Very nice. Ronald Ramon, the senior leadership, handling the press and stepping into a nice three-point shot. One-point game. It's been a quiet second. Oh. Off rebound, saved by Blair. And again, another good defensive possession by Pittsburgh. Oh, nice seats. But he saved it. And the Panthers again with a chance to take the lead. And DeJuan Blair is pointing to himself. He wants the ball down low against character. Panthers work the clock, the shot clock to 15. Benjamin looked inside, didn't go inside. Instead, they reversed to Ronald Ramon. Five on the shot clock. Ramon will shoot a three. A long range three is short. Mm. 
Mm. Ball out of bounds, tipped out by Blair. And Blair is going to pick up his third foul of the afternoon. One point lead for Louisville as we have played almost nine minutes of the second half. And all season long, Champion Apparel will be showcasing the tradition and history of the Big East Conference. And we're talking about recent history and the tradition of winning games here at the Peterson Event Center. Beautiful facility on the campus of the University of Pittsburgh, right where the old football stadium used to be. And, of course, one reason they play so well in this building are those folks in the Oakland Zoo, as they call themselves. <laughs> Oakland House, but I think you've got to times that by 10 here in the Peterson Center. It's just an unbelievable place to play. If you're an away team. Champion, it's how you play. And I think Benjamin, Benjamin coming out is, is doing a very good job on Edgar Sosa, not allowing any penetration from this young fella. Inside the character against Blair. Puts it up with the right hand, it spins out, and then he fouls trying to get the rebound. And with the character, that's where you got to be disciplined. You miss the shot, don't go exasperated by going over the back, getting a foul call. You got to just let it go, get back on defense. Third possession now, in a row that the Panthers have had a chance to take their first lead in the second half. Fields to Brown, gets it back. Again, Pitt is doing a very good job handling this press, running their offense, getting high percentage shots. Here comes Fields on a drive. Stops, looks back, reverses to Benjamin. Gets it back himself. Thought about baseline. Instead, Benjamin again. Shot clock at 10. Blair starts his move toward the lane. Long jump hook won't go. Character had the rebound, and it kicked into the hands of Williams. Here's Sosa on the drive. Comes up short. Oh, great job on the follow rebound by Derek Character. What a rebound uh, on the floor. Knowles trying to stay with Fields, who finds Benjamin. We are past the midway point. Sam Young reports to the scores table. He'll check back in. And Jimmy Dixon is going to take a timeout. Now let's take a look at a game-changing performer in today's game brought to you by Pontiac. And there is no doubt a guy that changed the first half wears number 10. Edgar Sosa is doing it all for this Louisville corner. Today I've come out playing with a tremendous amount of confidence. Has the ability to get in transition and is able to finish with the foul around the basket. And this press, you're going to get a lot of points just off the press. And he's in the right place at the second half. Did get the start in the second half in place of Andre McGee. Well, you know what, coming to, to this game, I don't think the Pitt Panthers game plan, though. So things happen like that. He's able to get off. But going into halftime, adjustment. Now Keith Benjamin is on him, not allowing any of that penetration. Sam Young is back for Pitt. Certainly a Pontiac game-changing performance by Edgar in the first half. But we're in the second half. Young. Off, up and into the hands of Preston Knowles. And I think Fields will make that shot as we go on in this season. Right now, I don't think he had that jump up, but had some good looks that he's come up short with. From the Peterson Event Center on the campus of the University of Pittsburgh in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. It's Big East Conference basketball, a team showdown between Louisville and Pitt. I'm John Sanders, along with Eric Murdoch. Great to have you with us on this Sunday afternoon. Corner. Williams starts a move right at the foul line. Great defense. Sosa for three. Wow. Wow, that's a killer. Great possession. Shot clock's going down to two seconds, and he knocks down a three. Wide open three for Sam Young, no good on the weak side. The rebound brought out of there by Williams. You see Louisville getting into a rhythm offensively. Guys are ready to step in and take those shots. Foul is going to go on Brown. And to me, the way the game is being refereed has changed during the second half. It's a little tighter. It has changed, and you know that as a player, you don't want that. If it's physical from the start, you got to continue to call. You know, no, but Brown has changed. Now you're getting a lot of, a lot of hand slaps, and, and you don't want that as a player. You want consistency. Padgett is back on the court, still out there with his three fouls. And Padgett does not have a foul. He's been in foul trouble in the recent game. Back to a six-point lead, same as at halftime. He has, and it's not like Dewan Blair hasn't been going at him. He tied him up that time. He gets it back, takes a bump. Bending, bending, good. Nice shot right along the baseline. That's 14 points now for the transfer from the University of Kansas. And they have now matched their largest lead of the afternoon. A 7-0 run. Brown on the run. Puts it up no good. 
The rebound to Williams. And you see how hard it is to score on this Louisville team. Once you get into the middle, it's not skin. You're going to get an easy shot in there. You're going to shoot over at somebody's hands. And that's going to be short. The rebound into the hands of Young. Maybe not a real good look for Terrence Williams that time. Not at all. And it's with Pittsburgh right now. You're down eight. You want to get a good shot at the basket. And they dropped a double team that time on Blair and committed the foul. 7.48 remaining in the game. Cardinals lead by eight as we come back to Pittsburgh. Let's take a look now at our big stop of the game. It is brought to you by Cooper Tires. Don't give up a thing. This was a pretty good stop, wasn't it? It was, and uh, just getting back into the play, not taking anything for granted. Sam Hung is that type of play that's going to give you every inch of his body, and you need players like Sam Young to be a good basketball. The best part about that block, he got the ball right back. <laughs> Kept it in bounds like Bill Russell. Sam Young underneath fields. No chance. He hits the deck, and they're going to call it a hell ball. That'll give it to the Cardinals. And Sam Young, uh, sorry, LeVance Field got lost in there. You can hardly see him, you're right. But uh, the length, trying to get shots over these guys, has been a tough task for Pittsburgh all day. Well, it's the fourth Panther turnover of the second half. Each team has five fouls so far. And the Cardinals have matched their largest lead inside Padgett against Blair. Young comes over to help out. And they not, tried to reverse the basketball, and he threw it away. Not a good look. One of the few mistakes Padgett has made, but that play, nobody was open. Fade away by Sam Young. Rattles home. 18 for Sam. And I've seen it all from Sam Young today. The turnaround, the jump shots, driving to the basket, the dishing, blocking shots. He's done it all today. Six-point lead. Seven minutes remaining in regulation. Smith takes the handoff from Padgett, feeds McGee. If you look at this defense, five guys are in the paint for the Panthers. Knocked out of bounds that time by Brown. He got a piece of it as he reached in on Padgett, so the Cardinals will keep it. Earl Clark checks back in the lineup and to the bench is Palacios. And look at Padgett. I mean, against this Panther team, you're going to get a lot of physical play, a lot of deflection, a lot of hands on the ball, and he, for the most part, has made good decisions with the basketball. Young, 18 points, 7 rebounds, 3 assists. McGee on a drive and finishes. Went under the basket, using the rim, and gets his first point. A nice play by McGee. Get into that lane, using that rim, like you said, John, to where Dewan Blair could not put a hand on it, but got to do a better, better job on pick and roll defense. Here's Brown inside, Young. Fade away off the glass and good. And then Sam Young is just giving this team everything that they need. Right now, they need scoring. Down six right now, but they're going to Sam Young for baskets. Young with 20 points this afternoon. He leads all scores. This is Smith. Ronald Ramon on him. Gets it to Williams. Now McGee. Better job on that pick and roll defense by Sam Young. Forcing him to the other end of the basket. Back for a three-pointer on the way. Bending, bending off. And the rebound to Dewan Blair. Better, better job. Pick and roll defense. Better job putting the hand up in the face. Altering that shot. Ramon on a drive. Now kicks it back outside. Young. Dances down the leg. Feeds Blair. And he scores. And one. And the foul. <laughs> Man, Sam Young, I, I'm very impressed with his game, his overall knowledge of this game, understanding time and possession, understands when his team needs to live. He's doing it all today for this Panther team. His, uh, his idol is, is Michael Jordan. That's why he wears number 23. He plays like him. There's not an aspect that he doesn't play well in. I'm very impressed with this kid, Sam Young. Padgett picked up his second foul. And at the free throw line to complete the three-point play is Blair. That gives him 16 points. Brings the Panthers back to within three. Also brings the crowd alive. The Oakland Zoo is up and hopping. Right behind us, you can see him. They still give me nightmares, John. Yeah, you know, in the old days, the old <laughs> feel they were right behind your bench. Oh, God. Now, we couldn't hear our coach in timeouts. Palacios, wide open look underneath. And for Juan, his first basket. Just a nice play, dumped down. Louisville pretty much for the most part has been very efficient offensively getting the shots that they want. Now the Panthers with numbers. Benjamin puts it up and drills it. Nice play. Beating the trap. 
but also beating it to be aggressive, beating it going to the basket, trying to score. Great job by Pittsburgh handling the pressure of Louisville. 63-60, the Cardinals still have the lead. They got numbers this time against the pressure. And Ronald Ramon's been solid. LeVance Field has been solid, not turning the ball over a lot, but getting the ball into the players' hands that they trust. You know, Benjamin's a senior, nice 15-foot jump shot. Let's take a look now at our defender of the game, brought to you by the U.S. Navy. Accelerate your life. The little things, two steals, one block, seven rebounds, three or four of those on the offensive end, but all the little things you need, he's... Uh, a, a guy that comes in with a mindset that he's going to do whatever it takes to help his team win, whether that's scoring, rebounding, assists, blocking shots. He's going to get on the loose balls. And if you look at his eye, it seems like he's been in a battle with Mike Tyson. Well, he has been. Of course, the Cardinals will open up a brand new building a couple years from now, 2010, in downtown Louisville. It'll see 22,000, and they average over 18,000 fans a game in Freedom Hall, where they're very tough, as Pitt is tough here. They look to Padgett, go to him. One-on-one -on -one basketball, good hands by Blair. Blair got a piece of that one. Now Padgett's alone underneath, goaltender. Wow, wow. That's just offensive efficiency. Pick and roll, Terrence Williams, understanding time and possession. On target, on time with the pass to David Padgett. Well, no wonder he shoots 67% in Big East Conference play. He's 8 of 11 this afternoon. A lot of layups and a lot of, you know, plays where he's in the right place at the right time because he has a great knowledge of the game of basketball. Fields keeps his dribble. Less than four and a half to play. Five-point lead for the Cardinals, and they have led throughout this second half. Ronald Ramon. And the place is quiet right now. Certainly the Panthers need some kind of spark. Blair, the dump nice down pass. to Young. Ooh. Oh, I thought he got hit. Well, the Panther fans and coaches can't believe that no foul was called. And now a foul at the other end. I got to look at it again. I'm not sure, but with somebody of Sam Young's athletic ability, you would think he got hit, that he just does it in his dunks. Let's take a look at it. Yeah, he definitely got hit to me. You got to call that foul in that instance. See on the right arm, I think he got hit. That definitely altered the shot. Sam Young is going to knock that shot down. Well, he hit the deck. Palacios misses at the line. It's a big call, 65-60 right now. You know, had a chance to go two shots on the free throw line. Now Palacios at the other free throw line. And he buries the second one, so one out of two. Six-point lead. That's what it was at halftime. So 16 minutes later, it's still a six-point lead. Ronald Ramon also tracks him down from behind. Louisville is doing a great job just answering you know, the Pitt Panther at every call. Yeah, Blair, Blair really went to work on Padgett, and that's 18 points for the freshman from here in Pittsburgh. Love his game, his activity, his patience you know, as a freshman, getting the shot that he wants, never, never, ever in a rush. The Cardinals turned to run over clock. 15 left on the shot clock. He's doing a great job. Ball movement, body movement to try to get a high percentage shot. Now the shot clock is at five. They're going to have to launch it. Williams oh. gets it to Palacios. He's wide open. Oh. And Benjamin goes for the steal and leaves Palacio open with two seconds left on the shot clock. Very good possession until the last three or four seconds. 68-62, Cardinals leading, trying to join Georgetown atop the Big East standing. Young has it stripped out of his hands. Winds up in the hands of Terrence Williams. Michael Sosa has been quiet this second half, but doing a great job just running the offense for this Louisville Cardinal basketball team. He does have one three-pointer in the second half. And the Panthers were down just one just a minute ago. Padgett. Left hand a little too strong. I think he lost control of that ball. He did. He did. But another great play by Terrence Williams. Terrence Williams is one of four Louisville players to have a triple-double, and he has two of them. Benjamin gets inside and draws a foul. The foul will go on Williams. We'll take a break.
Cardinals have the lead as we come back to the Peterson Center. And let's take a look now at a game-changing performance. It's brought to you by our friends at Pontiac. And certainly this guy has changed the complexion of this game with his play off the bench. We're talking about Sosa. And Sosa right here. Nice early dagger shot in the second half. And hasn't scored a lot of baskets in the second half, but he's doing a very good job just running this basketball team. I mean, he's staying within himself, not looking over his shoulder, playing with a lot of uh, great amount of confidence. Benjamin a miss, and he doesn't miss too often. He's 21 of 28 on the year. Of course, Sosa, the reason that the Cardinals bench has outscored the Panthers bench 32 to 7 this afternoon. Yeah, he's been unbelievable playing with a trem tremendous amount of confidence and not turning the ball over and being aggressive getting into that lane as well. 68-63, here comes the Panther press. Sosa gets it ahead and it's handled by Smith. Back to Sosa. Louisville's been doing a very good job of you know, not rushing their shots and all day not forcing anything up to the basket. Padgett on Blair goes back to Smith and then gets it back. Less than two minutes remaining in the game. You see everything goes to David Padgett. Sosa on a drive. And I think that time Benjamin got a piece from behind. Panthers get the ball back. Nice Benjamin move. steps down the lane, lays it up, and it rolls in. Nice move. That's the way to attack the basket in transition. Had Juan Placio backpedaling. Make one move, get to the basket, finish strong. Nice play by the senior. Well, he has pulled them back to within three again. Let's take a look, an advanced look at the upcoming games. Brought to you by Advanced Auto Parts. Keep the wheels turning. And there's more work to be done. For the Cardinals, they get number 21 Notre Dame on Thursday, and they've got Villanova and finish the regular season at Georgetown. So there's some work to be done by the Cardinals if they're going to win the Big East regular season championship. And then here's what's upcoming, courtesy Advance Auto Parts for the Panthers. They'll have Cincinnati here. They've also got the Paul here at the end of the season. But two tough road trips right there, Eric to Syracuse and at West Virginia. Well, definitely at Syracuse is going to be a tough game. But if you look at that schedule, if Pitt can win three out of four of those games, I think they'd be in right position for the NCAA tournament. Well, they have quality wins to their credit under their head coach, Jamie Dixon, the 42-year-old who took over for Ben Howland. They won at Washington State. They won against Oklahoma State. Remember, they beat Duke in overtime in the thriller in the Garden. And I like the pressure by Pitt. Palacios. Like the Did pressure. Travel. Exactly. Like the pressure by Pitt. Making these players become basketball players. When you make someone become a basketball player, you put the onus on them to make good decisions. Right there, Palacio travel with the basketball. And Clark almost forgot to check into the lineup. Now he can come in. Take it to the hoop, Sam. And Clark's been very quiet. Sam Young has done a very good job limiting his touches on the defensive end. Well, we're headed for a good finish. A minute 20 to play. Panthers down three with the basketball. Louisville's back in that 2-3 zone defense. And the Panthers with all five of their starters on the court right now. Young back to field, looking for a tie. Too strong. Mm, look good. Sosa with a rebound. And that's what you want to do if your pitch, though. You want to get that ball in the center of the free throw line. Collapse the defense. Nice kick out to Levance Field. Just missed the shot. Clark in front of Young. Sosa picked up by Ramon. Inside Padgett against Blair. Wheels inside and scores. Nice play by Padgett, the senior. Leadership. When they need a big basket, they know who to go to. But DeJuan Blair in that instance needs help. Ramon for three. Yes. <laughs> there he is. Ronald Ramon, big time shot. Two point game now. Two point game. Big and Rick Pitino down on his knees. In imploring Andre Smith to jump out on that three-point shooter. There's a little penetration. Sam Young, of course, over to Ronald Ramon, prolific three-point shooter, and he's going to knock these shots down. He's another guy that makes big shots at crucial times. He's a senior. He, he knows that he's a leader of this basketball team. Well, there's a one-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Everybody's in the bonus on the next foul. The Panthers have the possession arrow. There are 36 seconds left in the game and 35 on the shot clock. So it's just a one second difference. You can pretty much watch that clock and know exactly where we are.
ESPN Plus Basketball coming your way from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania on this Sunday afternoon. Of course, we've got more action next week. On Saturday, it'll be West Virginia playing at UConn and Hartford. That should be a dandy. You just can never assume, Eric, that one team or the other is going to win in this league. You, you cannot. you got to play to the very end, and I like the pressure that Pittsburgh is coming out. They're coming out there being aggressive on the ball, and when the ball gets over half court, they're trapped in the ball. So these bas they're making these chances or Cardinals become basketball players. And Palacio with the travel, then there was another bad shot. But if you're Pittsburgh, you want to trap. If you don't trap, if you don't get the steal, then you must foul. It'll be inbounded under the Panther basket. And everybody on their feet here at the Peterson Center. Trying to avoid a third loss in a row and their second loss this year at home. If you move, uh, got to be strong with the basketball. Got to be strong with traps as well. In traps. And Clark, no place to go. So they have to call a timeout. That's the last timeout and game's coming up. Syracuse at Notre Dame. That game is going to get underway in about 10 minutes. Marquette's at Villanova, Notre Dame at Louisville, Pittsburgh at Syracuse, West Virginia, UConn. There's no easy games <laughs> in this league. Uh, I think one of the coaches in the Big East, I'm not sure who it was, said the Big East is the, the potpourri of pain. <laughs> well, he's right. Paget has another good afternoon. David just two points away from his season high of 20. And Sosa has matched his season high with 18. And Padre has been solid, solid, making all the right plays in the crucial time. Padre. And the foul is given by Fields. I thought he might do it a little quicker than that. About four seconds ran off the clock before the foul was called. Only a 61% free throw shooter. A two point game with 32.1 to play, and Blair returns. And if you're Pittsburgh, what you want to do on a miss, you've got to come up with that rebound. You see Jamie Dixon over there instructing his guys to box out, but you want somebody to get the shooter. Juan Blair to step back, as well as Sam Young. Box out, come up with the rebound. It is a one and one. So far, so good for David Padgett. Hits the first, he'll have another. Leadership. Stretches the lead to three. Leadership. This guy has been in big time games. I mean, this right now, this pressure means nothing to him. To him, he doesn't hear anything right now at the free throw line. That's not going to go. A one possession game. Final seconds of regulation. The Panthers have the ball. They've got a timeout left. The Cardinals do not. All alone is Blair. <laughs> The foul is number three on Padgett, and he was not going to let Blair stuff that ball. Good execution by the Panthers of the Vancefield running that high pick and roll. Blair escapes, gets inside, but a nice play by Padgett, not allowing the easy basket. Got to earn it at the free throw line. There is one timeout left for Louisville, and the Panthers are out of timeouts. Blair hits number one. Fell is stepping up, stepping up. 21 seconds left. Still, if you're pit, what you want to do is trap. You don't come up with a steal. Got a foul immediately. 21.6 to play. He gets both. That's a 20-point game for Blair, matching his career high. Blair back to the bench. Jamie Dixon will play offense, defense right now. One-point game. Everybody up on their feet. And Sam Young is the biggest guy out there for the pen. So a lot of quick guards. Out there going for stills. Padgett with it. Draws the foul. Gilbert Brown picks up number two. Took less than a second off the clock. You want to extend this basketball game. You want to put these guys on the line. Padgett goes one for two. As you mentioned, only a 61% free throw shooter. The crowd is really getting involved. Let's see what the senior does on the line. Well, even if he makes both, it's still just a one possession game. You're exactly right. You still have enough time not to come down and jack up a three-point shot. That's big time. 
That's, That's what he did time. the last time. He is 20 point game matching his season high. His career high is 27. Yeah. So he has stepped up along with Edgar Sosa. It was Ed Edgar Sosa early. It's been all David Padgett in the second half. And Padgett hits two at the line, makes it a three point game, and he has a season high 21 for the Cardinals. And they, Coach Patino, compared Padgett to Jamal Mashburn and Billy Donovan as far as leadership and the ability to compete. Levance Fields, 15 to play. Fields, inside. Blair off the glass, no good. And the rebound pulled out out there by Clark. Uh, and DeJuan Blair had Sosa on his back, didn't take his time inside. One of the few mistakes that he's made, just take your time and go up with the shot that you want. But he rushed it in that instance and missed the shot. It's still going to be a one and one at this end. A three point lead now for the Cardinals, I mean, but they can make it a two possession game. Look at the position here, has Sosa on him. All he needs to do is take a couple dribbles in that situation, go strong, guide himself, and finish, but rush the shot. Clark a 67% free throw shooter. And a rebound and another that foul. Rebound. There's that rebound. Ronald Ramon picks up number three. That's going to put McGee on the line. And the Cardinals will hustle over and huddle up in front of their coach, Rick Pitino. Uh, if you Pittsburgh, you get that rebound, you have a chance. Right now, if he makes one, it's going to be tough to win this game with only five seconds to go. And McGee is a better free throw shooter at 72%, but this is his first time at the line. One may do it. 5.4 seconds left. McGee hits a pair, so it is a two possession game with just five seconds to go. Here comes Ramon. Lost the ball momentarily, gets it back, shoots a long three at the buzzer. It goes. But it's going to make it a two point victory for the Cardinals. They hang on to win it 75 to 73. Ramon's three pointer counts, gives him 11 for the game. And what has happened here today is history has been made because the Louisville Cardinals are the first team to come in here as a visiting team and win two games in this building. It's also just the second time under the direction of Jamie Dixon that the Panthers have lost three straight. But that's what has happened. Here's the latest. Louisville moves into a tie with Georgetown both at 12 and 3 in Big East Conference play. And the Panthers of Pittsburgh are now at 500 in conference play at 7 and 7. Again, our final score, Louisville 75 and Pitt 73 for Eric Murdoch and our entire ESPN Plus crew. I'm John Sanders. We say good afternoon from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. We remind you that this game is a production of ESPN Plus and ESPN, the worldwide leader in collegiate sports television. The Cardinals win another big road game. So long from Pittsburgh.